Puzzles. Where have my puzzle pieces gone? Here are some. Um, what do you make from old puzzles where you lost a few pieces uh, and you can no longer do the you know puzzle it and, and do what you normally do? So uh, this was a challenge set by one of our Facebook readers and I thought it was a really good challenge because it was really hard and we all really had to think about it and um, I think we've come up with some really good ideas. So um, I'll go first again as, as normal and then pass through and then I've got a couple more at the end to share. So I'll start off with um, my favorite. Well, I think it's my favorite. They're all nice actually. But um, here's one I saw on, on the internet. So you've got your little um, snowflakes made from puzzles. Uh, really simple. Um, you cut a disc and then uh, you glue your puzzle pieces together. So leave a little space in the middle so that they sort of a bit spread out so you get that sort of snowflake effect. And then you've got your little um, sort of Christmas ornament. Um, I know we're uh, not, you know, in summer, but hey, you know, you've got to sort of park these ideas. Um, another little one that I quite like is, uh, let's see, this one. Um, it's just a coaster, very simple. Um, take your puzzle, stick it on a piece of card, and then uh, very very importantly, add lots of layers of uh, decoupage glue to give it sort of a bit of um, resistance. So if you drink your spill, uh, it doesn't make the, the, the puzzle all soggy. What I quite like about this one is this is actually a, a blue sky of a puzzle. So I didn't paint anything or change anything about the the puzzle pieces themselves. So I reckon it could be quite fun if you um, say you have a meadow in your puzzle, you could have a little meadow coaster, or if your children have a superhero puzzle and there's a few pieces missing, maybe you can have a bit of Spider-Man there. So I mean, I think you can use what's on your puzzle. And if it's something that's really not usable because it's just, uh, you know, the wheel of a car or something, um, just paint it. So um, I think it's quite nice to work with with what you've got. Um, I've got a couple more to come, but I'll, I'll pass you over to Ali now so it's not all boring um, me all the time. Um, so over to Ali and see, let us show, show you your craft. Hi, I'm Ali Clifford um, from Kids Chaos and A Green and Life for Us. And today I've got a couple of greeting cards, greetings cards to show you. So you, I'll, I'll have to bring this up to the camera for you to have a good look. Can you see that? So an anniversary card or a wedding card. And basically, oh, you can see what's happened here. We've spray painted them silver and gold. So that's one. And then the other one is um, a little drawing of uh, Frankenstein. And then you can see his head is a piece of jigsaw puzzle. So um, I've created both of these um, in Illustrator. So they are will be available as printables on the website later today. So passing over to Anthea. Hi, I'm Anthea from um, Zing Zing Tree and Blue Bear Wood, and I've um, done a couple of things with them. One is to make, which I'm sure you'll see a few more of, um, and they could actually be put on Ali's card. I've made some little alien, um, I can't see myself, excuse me while I click so that I don't see Ali's beautiful face staring at, there we go. <laughs> um, so here we go. So there's some little alien faces that are very easy to make, and you could turn these into badges, magnets, stick them on cards, stick them into pictures. Um, I'm actually going to make a little um, picture frame full of them. And the other thing that I've been doing is playing with resin, which I've never done before, and I'm actually completely hooked. So um, a similar thing is I have, oh, I don't know if you can see this here, but this has actually um, got a kind of a coating of resin over the top. Um, and what I plan to do with this is drill some little holes in and make it into some jewellery, but it could also be a badge again or a, a magnet. I'm thinking of a bracelet or um, a pendant. And then more excitingly, I've been setting setting them into and playing with the concept of lost jigsaw pieces. So I don't know if you can see, I've covered this one in glitter and it says, you probably can't see it very well, but it says missing in um, newspaper text in the middle. Um, and I put craft sand in, so if you can see the, just to give it a back, so otherwise it's clear and you see the back of the um, jigsaw, which isn't very nice. And then the other ones I just took, this is a smarty, smarty one. We're going to make this into key rings for my girls' book bags. And here's another one. This was quite fun. This was a princess head and it says lost in there, which I think is kind of fun to play with. Again, the idea of lost jigsaw pieces. So um, that's my little ideas there. And I'm now going to pass over to Crystal. Hello. I have a wee little uh, sort of brooch that we've made there this afternoon. Just take your puzzle piece, uh, throw some, glue some uh, paper, whatever description you'd like on the back of it glue it on, let it dry, and then 
just simply design it however you'd like. I've done sort of a wee uh, K and then added some flowers. And then on the back, I don't have any of the uh, wee brooch clips at the moment, but just a wee little safety pin and a piece of felt over the top glued on. And that will be for my wee daughter to wear. And that one was actually two puzzle pieces put together. But great fun. I will pass you over to Kelly. Thanks, Crystal. Hi, um, I'm Kelly from domesticgoddess.com. I have been making stick puppets this week. Uh, these are, well, let me show you one. There you go. It's a reasonably good shot. Um, I sort of stuck the jigsaw puzzle pieces to sticks, and then basically I just kind of played around with them. So obviously this has got ribbon um, for wings and some extra sort of scrap fabric at the back to make a tail, um, and then a, a triangular button for a beak. There are two of them there, like in the sort of nursery rhyme, two little dicky birds. My daughter was actually thrilled with these at school today because it was show and tell and they had to bring something that goes in the air. So she took those, which worked out rather well for me, uh, mum of the year and all that. Um, then we have uh, Dimple's favourite, which is this one, the crying baby. Um, same thing again, I put a piece of card over the back of the hole in the jigsaw card and then I used um, an extra bit of card to make a sort of sticking out tongue. You can see from the side there. She really likes that one, Crying Baby. Um, and then this one, which isn't quite finished, is, um, you can see it's a caterpillar. Here we go, I'll show you two of the pieces. Um, so again, it's just kind of sticking them onto sticks, and then obviously I punch holes, but my brads are all, rather annoyingly, um, missing at the moment. So when I find them, I'll be able to stick that together, and then you'll have a kind of, you can add extra layers as you go along with your caterpillar. So that's me. I'm going to pass on to Liz at Me and My Shadow. Hi. Thanks, Kelly. Um, I've been making um, key rings, and we kind of based this on the idea of, you know those kind of naff necklaces where you get two pieces of a heart and you each wear one heart? It's kind of based on that. So I've made um, photo key rings. Um, I don't know if you can see those. So we picked um, a photograph of Daddy and my little girl. So of course they come apart. Stick them over two separate pieces, and uh, got them upside down. So we've got one each. So Daddy can have one of his little girl on his key ring, and my daughter can have this one on her book bag. So it was really simple. I've used the wooden um, puzzle pieces. You know the ones that you get for smaller children because they're a bit more sturdy. Um, and we've just basically used um, a water down PVA to stick it on and then lots and lots of coats of varnish on top and on the back you have to use really strong glue so I've used epoxy resin and stuck one of these little jewellery bales on the back and then a key ring but I suppose you could drill through them that might be slightly um, might last better because I think in a pocket these might might fall apart eventually um, but if you use super glue or epoxy resin, they should stay on. So that's it. So um, I have two pieces of the puzzle. There we are. So I'll hand you back to Maggie. Can't hear you, Maggie. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love these hangouts, which is great ideas and all that. So repeating myself, sorry. Clearly, I'm not learning about the microphone. Um, so we've, we've a few people have talked about magnets. I think fridge magnets are a really good idea for puzzle pieces. I mean, I think simply just using a puzzle piece with a magnet will do um, in lots of different bright colors. I think they look quite fun over the fridge. But of course, um, creating little characters is fun for kids. So um, really, from a magnet point of view, and then, and then you just glue the magnet on the back. I mean, that, that took two minutes to make. And I'm going to make some of these tomorrow with my son. And I know he's going to love it because he just loves making little faces and stuff. And I think these make nice little gifts too. So we might make a few of these, um, you know, for uncle's birthday uh, and, and his little friends on their birthdays. And it's a nice present that he can make. Um, and then the final one is a, is a piece of art. Um, we haven't finished it yet, so I had to take a photo of it so that I can hold it up, otherwise it would fall apart. <laughs> um, and it's basically uh, doing just a little uh, spring picture with your puzzle pieces. I'm, I'm really into exploring the seasons with my kids, so this, this actually works quite well for all the seasons. So obviously you have the autumn colours in autumn, in summer you'd have lots of dark green, and then in winter you could have lots of puzzle pieces of snow at the bottom, and then you'd have a set of them. That's my tree, by the way. Um, but the kids' ones, 
my daughter is three. Just want to show her version of a tree. I think it's very sweet. So this is where her blossoms would be. I mean, she's she's getting the sort of the stem and the the, the branches. So it's a really nice way to explore um, a little bit of art with them as well. Um, this is my son's. This is the roots. I just love sort of the bits they add. And this is something falling down apparently. Um, but you know, so it's just it's just having a bit of fun um, using it in different ways. I mean, the puzzle we've got is I've got a thousand pieces in it. Uh, so we'll have lots of different things we can make from it. So yes, hopefully you guys have enjoyed our puzzle solutions for you. Um, it was really tricky for all of us. We've been debating all week what to make. But I'm hoping that what we have made today um, is, uh, you know, inspirational for you guys. So, yes, that's it from us today. And hopefully see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye.